Hello, and welcome to Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at. On today's program, I thought we would talk about stamps, and more specifically, United States stamps. On October 24th, the United States Postal Service announced many of the stamps that will be issued in 2023. And while the announcement of stamps is only a partial list and designs are subject to change, I thought we'd take a look at what 2023 will look like in the philatelic world. The first stamp is this Lunar New Year stamp. It is for the Year of the Rabbit. The fourth of 12 stamps in the latest Lunar New Year stamp series celebrates the Year of the Rabbit, calling to mind the elaborately decorated mask used in the dragon or lion dances often performed in Lunar New Year parades. This three-dimensional mask depicts a rabbit is a contemporary take on a long tradition of paper-cut folk art crafts created during this time of year. The next stamps are the love stamps. Celebrating 50 years since the first love stamp was issued are two new love stamps, one featuring a kitten and the other a puppy with her front paw resting atop a big heart. The word love is featured in all caps behind each animal. Next are the Great Smoky Mountains. They are Priority Mail Express stamps. Home to the most visited national park in the United States, the Great Smoky Mountain boasts extensive national forests and a vast array of native plants and animals. Equally rich in history, folkways, and culture, they are an American treasure, which the Postal Service celebrates with this new Priority Mail Express stamp. Next is the U.S. Flag Stamp. The Postal Service continues its tradition of celebrating the United States flag with this stamp. The stamp art bearers a straightforward graphic design of Old Glory, providing a solid foundation for the flag are the word freedom in gray and below it, forever USA. Next is the Ernest J. Gaines stamp. The 46th stamp in the Black Heritage series honors Ernest J. Gaines, best known for such novels as the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman and A Lesson Before Dying, the stamp features an oil painting of Gaines based on a 2001 photograph. Next, we have the $10 floral geometry stamp. A new floral geometry stamp, denominated at $10, will be available for purchase. It complements the similarly designed $2 and $5 stamp that was issued this year. The stamp art features a series of overlapping geometric shapes that mimic the symmetry of floral patterns that are found in nature. Then we move on to pinatas. Celebrate the fun and tradition of pinatas with a colorful new booklet of stamps. The stamp art features four lively digital illustrations of two traditional pinata designs, a donkey as well as a seven porting star. Next is the red fox stamp. The handsome face of a red fox graces this new 40 cent stamp. This stamp is intended to be used for bulk mailers and items such as circulars, newspapers, and catalogs. It can also be used by customers who enjoy using a variety of stamps on their envelopes and packages. I think that includes us post crossers. Next are sailboat stamps. The sailboat stamps celebrate a favorite American outdoor activity with two new colorful postcard stamps. They feature abstract illustrations that capture the joyful sensation of being on the water on a beautiful day. From there, we move on to snow globes. Beloved by children and adults alike, snow globes can be miniature works of art, kitschy souvenirs, or anything in between. Celebrating the spirit of the holidays, the Postal Service captures the playful pleasure of Christmas and snow globes on four new stamps. Next are the Thinking of You stamps. These stamps catch the excitement and delight of receiving a card in the mail meant just for you. Thinking of You features five stamps in a pane of 20 and a host of die-cut self-adhesive messages, perfect to accompany any letter or card sent to brighten someone's day. Each stamp is designed in fun colors with different whimsical images, including flowers, balloons, cute animals, sweet treats, and symbols of good luck. Words of encouragement and thoughtful affirmations surround the stamps on the pane. Tulip Blossoms are the next stamp that was announced. 
Close-up photographs of 10 beautiful tulips in a rainbow of colors grace this new booklet of 20 stamps. One blossom fills almost the entire frame of each stamp with just the top of a stem peeking out from underneath. Since Dutch immigrants brought tulip bulbs to North America hundreds of years ago, this flower has become a dazzling part of our landscape. Next are the winter woodland animals. Connect to natural beauty of the winter season and celebrate four species that make their home in the woodlands of North America. Among the most familiar of wildlife are deer, rabbits, owls, and foxes. Next is a stamp honoring Chief Standing Bear. This stamp honoring Chief Standing Bear, who won a landmark court ruling in 1879 that determined that Native Americans were persons under the law with inherent rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This stamp features a portrait of Chief Standing Bear by Thomas Blackshear II, based on a black and white photograph taken in 1877. Next are the Endangered Species Stamps. Under the Endangered Species Act, which marks its 50th anniversary in 2023, more than 1,300 plant and animal species are safeguarded to increase their chances of survival. With this painting of 20 stamps, the Postal Service presents a photographic portfolio of 20 representative endangered animal species. Next are the railroad stations. Noteworthy railroad stations began brightening the American landscape by the 1870s. And although many were torn down once they had outlived their original purpose, hundreds still survive. This issuance of 20 stamps feature five gems that continue to play important roles in their communities. Our next stamp is one that honors Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This stamp honors Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the 107th Supreme Court Justice of the United States. The stamp features an oil painting of Justice Ginsburg facing the viewers in her black judicial robe with an intricate white collar. Author Toni Morrison is honored in this stamp issuance. Her artfully crafted novels explore the diverse voices and multifaceted experiences of African Americans, known for such books as The Bluest Eye, Song of Solomon, and Beloved. The next stamps are waterfall stamps. The Postal Service celebrates the variety and beauty of American waterfalls with these 12 new stamps. Each stamp features a photograph with the name of the waterfall and state in which it is located. Now we move on to women's soccer. This stamp celebrates women's soccer in the United States. The graphic stamp artwork depicts a female soccer player in action, walloping a ball with a side volley. Next we move on to school bus. The school bus will be the new additional out stamp. The issuance celebrates the iconic yellow school bus and its role in ensuring that millions of children get to school and home again every day. And the final stamp issued is Roy Lichtenstein. The work of the iconic American artist of the pop art movement is celebrated with a stamp issuance in his honor. Each of the five stamps in this paint of 20 features one work of art by Lichtenstein. So those are the stamps that the United States Postal Service has announced that they will issue in 2023. Tell me what is your favorite stamp? Uh, I really like the new love stamps and I'm really excited, believe it or not, about the new additional ounce stamp that is the school bus. I use the additional ounce stamp on most every postcard that I send uh, internationally. Uh, so I'm very excited about it right now. It's a rabbit stamp that I send. Uh, so I think it's going to be great to, to be able to put that school bus stamp um, on postcards and send it out around the world. So let me know what your favorite was. Um, not only did the post office um, come out and tell us what stamps that they're going to issue next year, but they also said that there's going to be a rate increase uh, in the United States postal rate. And the new rate increase will include a three cent increase in the price of a first class forever stamp. Uh, forever stamps are going to go from 60 cents to 63 cents. And if this gets the final approval, it'll take effect July 22nd, 2023. Uh, the post office will raise rates 
by approximately 4.2% across the board. This is in hopes of offsetting the rise of inflation. Uh, this will affect postcard rates as well. Domestic postcard rates in the U.S. will go from $0.44 cents to mail a postcard to $0.48 cents to mail a postcard. And international postcard rates will go from $1.40 uh, to mail a postcard internationally to $1.45. So mail rates are getting higher. Uh, so does that affect how much, uh, how much mail you send? Does that affect how many post-crossing postcards you send? The fact that uh, mail keeps increasing. Is it increasing um, in your area as well? Uh, let me know in the comments. It seems like uh, the rates are going up uh, at least once a year here in the U.S., uh, th sometimes twice a year. Uh, so that's something we have to be mindful of as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this program. I hope you enjoyed a look at all the stamps. Uh, once again, let me know what's your favorite. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a great week. Bye-bye.